the end room is it, it got me being ready to be an actor and be ready to go on stage. The Engine Room is a six month artist development programme for 13 of our participants at Run of the Mill. And the idea behind the Engine Room was creating a space for our artists that allows them to find their voice as artists. The way in which we've made work in the past has often been very project to project. And so we wanted to hit the pause button and create that space for our artists to say to them, what do you want to make work about? What are you interested in? So we've selected guest artists that maybe work in very different ways to create access points for our participants to, you know, consider the work they want to make, but also introduce them to different types and ways of making works. We had the best mentors, by the way, like Sean Dawn, Claire Martin, um, Arcade, and they are so good. They were like, um, I'm kind of stretching my muscles out by my father. The main idea of today and the creating your own character and the fact that we used visual art is that I find sometimes for non-professional actors, when I say create a character, it can be very difficult for them to be like, well, what is that? And I think visual art and painting and drawing is something everybody has done at some point in their life. So I sometimes think it's a great starting off point because they can visualize and then they have a more direct idea of who they're becoming. So that was the big focus of today. We had kind of looked at some kind of well-known characters in film and TV last week and we would performed them. We talked about what makes a character and characteristics and all of that kind of thing. So today was a good starting point of them creating their own um, and then I hope to develop that a bit further. The main kind of anchor in today's workshop was about bringing objects from our lives and using them as a jumping off point into our, our testimony and things that have happened to us. A big part of what I'm trying to do is really just spend time with them, get to know them, ask them questions and obviously we're using creative drama exercises as a way to open them up. Use one of my objects was my keys, keys to my life. I brought up with the keys, the way I go I bring my keys with me. I lock my bedroom door and I get up every morning going to work. I'm back to the house every evening when they, un when they unlock my bed and door. So the keys were like a symbol for your life? Yeah, they were a symbol of my life. So to start the day, um, I worked very simply just with the group in the circle, getting them to say their name and to create a gesture that is used to help identify them. And really for me as a facilitator, I'm trying to get to know their personality, but I'm trying to get them into the practice of translating their identity into something artful. The longer we have with each other, um, the more these kind of casual ideas and moments of story can arrive on their own terms. What we were doing today was building up those ensemble muscles, building that sense of a team and working with each other to create something that no one of you would have made on your own. So that's a really important sort of muscle for every company to stretch and what we're building towards is getting a group of people to move one body at the same time, like a puppet, and getting everybody to imaginatively work together to bring the same piece of object to life. This is really important time outside of a project to be able to work that muscle. Every company needs to have that time, I think anyway, to be building that kind of understanding with each other and just to explore new aesthetics, new ways of telling a story before you've even got to the point where you know what it is that you want to tell. Just getting excited about working together in a room and I think that's really essential for a company to be able to do. For the first two weeks, we created really short little scripts for the guys to learn and build that skill of line learning and like getting the script and being able to respond to that and speak the lines the way they are on the page and then layering emotion and performance on top of that. This morning we were doing some exercises on uh, the practicalities of working on a stage. So we were working with um, centre stage, uh, upstage and downstage and also working on our instincts. We think a lot about our instincts as actors what you what your initial response is to a line or to an emotion obviously the ensemble have been working together for a long time and they all have they are every actor has instincts but it's about being able to kind of 
hone in on them and building on that ensemble that the guys already have and, and preparing them for performances together down the line. I think just to, to help them to upskill to get to the next level and they'll be way better place to go out into the world and work as professional actors which is what a lot of them would like to do. I'm doing uh, warm up before you go on and do everything. Shake, shake, shake it out, shake it out. We do all that and then we go into shows. Then we go into action, make a movie, there you go. A film set can be can seem like a very intimidating place, so we kind of wanted to set that up a little bit in a, in a safe space, in a comfortable space where everybody could see this is the type of thing you might expect. If any of the performers from the engine room were cast in a film or got to be on a film set, then it will be less of an intimidating environment to, to come into for the first time. And it's just been about incrementally introducing new scenarios. So we started with just that very practical stuff of coming in, hitting the mark, delivering a line, and action and cut. And then from there, we slowly started to introduce a performance and we introduced some lines, started with one actor in front of the camera and then we moved it into two, interacting with each other. Then we moved it into trying to stay in the scene when you're not necessarily holding the dialogue or delivering the lines. It's been phenomenal for us as well and for Ashton to see them on screen. It's great for, for them to see themselves on screen and to see the differences, very practically, what the difference is between the screen and stage. We're already seeing the benefits of, of the earlier sessions. I think a lot of it's from, they're literally able to see it because we have a big screen running live to see what the cameras see and everybody can see the development and see how much better it actually is when, this, when the performance is much more subtle. I like working here in the engine room. It's a big part of my life. Coming here every Friday. It's only me and my heart. I love being with my friends and in, in this engine room. I love being here every Friday. It, it means it means a lot to me. I love being a part of this project. It's a great opportunity for be a student in the engine room because you be you know the different areas of work like filming, the acting, the singing and the puppetry and um, being on stage and doing short films and so you, you just do it. The overall ambition as well as to support these artists in their development is also to emerge with a bank of seed ideas for future development. So we're trying through the engine room as a company to create a blueprint for how we, how do we generate material for the next project, the next thing, in a way that's really authentically led by our participants. The next to make do my own show, like Mark is. Like me. I might call this making of Jackie.